past ten at night. And Southampton have decided to not wait any longer and have released a statement saying that Mark Hughes has signed a three-year contract with the Saints. The statement reads, Southampton Football Club can confirm today that Mark Hughes has signed a three-year contract as first-team manager. The 54-year-old who guided Saints to safety in the Premier League earlier this month has been appointed to lead the club into the new season and beyond. Mark and his team had a massive impact from the first day on the players, staff and fans alike and was able to pull together everyone involved with the club to deliver the results we needed. It is important now under Mark's leadership for everyone to continue the into the new season with new renewed focus and energy alongside continued and valued support from our fans. Eddie need Eddie Eddie and Mark Bowen have also signed contracts. Mark, Eddie and I are thrilled to have signed long term contracts with the club. It was the only option we considered having spent the last eight weeks at the club. Now it is vital we take our unbelievable support we have received from the fans into next season. The staff and players will work hard every day to deliver the success this club deserves. So he has had a brilliant impact since going to Southampton. He kept them in the league, which he was basically there to do. He was there to keep them up, and that's exactly what he did. Things went very stale at Stoke for him. But he has done very well. He's got a 30% win ratio at Southampton, winning three games, drawing two, and losing five. But that 30% was enough to keep them in the league. Those vital, vital wins against... Um, Bournemouth and then Swansea kept them in the league with the other win coming against Wigan. Uh, two draws and then five defeats. So one of those was against um, Chelsea in the Cup. One of them was against Chelsea in the league. One of them was against West Ham. One was against Arsenal. One was against Man City on the final day. So those defeats aren't too bad. Um, I expect him to sort things out I expect him to really push them up further up the table I expect them to be in the top half next season um, I expect them to have a decent budget to work with and I expect him to really kick on after a terrible season at Southampton I really do think he will do fantastic things there at least for the first couple of seasons, he seems to have a good impact for the first few years at any club he has been at, whether it be Blackburn, QPR, Stoke, Fulham, or uh, Manchester City, as well as managing Wales. Um, so after the disaster of the Pellegrino era, um, he has signed a th massive three-year contract, which I think is a little bit too much. I think a two-year deal would have been fine. Uh, but three years is what they have chosen to do. They're hoping the Welshman can kick Southampton on and get back to the sort of Europa League spot they have been occupying over the last few seasons. Uh, so this is a very, very short video because it is so late. Um, uh, but I wanted to react to this and give you the latest news. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you are new. And tell me your thoughts down below, particularly if you're a Southampton fan, what this means to you. Uh, thank you for watching. I am Mike and I will uh, see you soon.